Hello my friends, my name is LazyJet, welcome back to Train Simulator Classic and today you join me in King's Cross Station on the East Coast Mainline. Now today we're going to be looking at a DLC that Dovetail Games released because um, for ages I've always wanted Flying Scotsman and BR Green uh, in Train Simulator but the thing is uh, I've either had to make it by reskinning an LNER flying Scotsman and turn it into a BR green Scotsman or I just go on the internet and just find a reskin that someone has already made But no, this is a pure breaded uh, DLC. No reskin has gone into this engine at all This is this DLC is exactly how it is when you get it So there's no like reskin or cheating or anything. No, this is the this is the real thing But the big question is is it any good? That's what we're here to find out. So, make sure you click that subscribe button. Turn the bell notification on as well, so, so you stay notified to the channel. Subscribe to my second YouTube channel as well. Link to that is in the description below. And if you want to make a donation to the LazyJet YouTube channel, uh, link to my PayPal is also in the description below. So, you guys, you know, send a little donation, you know, just to keep this channel uh, spark going. Um, I don't know where the spark came from, but... Um, but, yeah, donate if you want to support the channel. Um, and, you know, please subscribe to both of my channels. It really means a lot to me. <laughs> So obviously the first thing we've noticed is the front number on the smoke box door. Now this isn't just an image, like because I remember uh, getting a reskin and it was just a picture. But no, this is actually a 3D model plaque. So if I like try and get as close as I possibly can, the entire number plaque is actually 3D. So that off to a good start, I think. But I have pointed out something that I do sort of question myself and Dovetail Games is the tender. That's not Flying Scotsman's tender. It actually belongs to a Class A4. This is an A4 tender. Plus, the A4 tender is a lot more better detailed than Flying Scotsman's original tender. Now, the colour in the green is actually not so bad, but I just there is a little bit of pixelation. Like, you know, if I zoom in the boiler, like, there's a little bit of smudges and stuff. But, like, uh, I guess, like, you know, that's just to add a bit more detail, I suppose. Uh, we've got the Flying Scotsman nameplate, which uh, basically looks alright, I guess. But the thing is, is I... This is, this is what I have been uh, sort of worried about. Now, some of you can agree with me on this, although some of you can disagree. But if I have to be, like, 100% honest, I was kind of hoping they'd make a completely different Class A3 because this is obviously just the same model as the Flying Scotsman from, you know, years and years ago. Like, you know, so that's why, like, the actual 3D model of the locomotive is a bit... Yeah. And also, it's got the horrible default sound effect, so if I press the whistle, it's got tornadoes. Well, it's got the default tornadoes whistle, and it just sounds horrible. But let's not be too negative, Oliver, because remember, Flying Scotsman is my most favourite steam engine in the world. Um, and I think the only reason to so solve this solution is going for a test drive. Let's do that. So we're going to put the train in forward, release the brakes. And do another toot of the whistle, even though, again, it's a very terrible whistle. Uh, headlights on. And let's get moving and get some speed going. Because I think this thing will work better if we get some, you know, if we're travelling at, like, you know, at 75 or maybe 60 miles per hour. I think that's a good idea. And to be honest, it has been quite some time that Dovetail Games released uh, another Flying Scotsman. So I guess this is, a, this, this is cool to have a... Another collection to my Flying Scotsman fleet in uh, in Train Simulator. Okay, so we're out of King's Cross and we're doing a very steady 60 miles per hour. That's pretty speedy, actually. Now, I've got to admit, seeing this particular Flying Scotsman on the move does make much of a difference. Like when it was just standing still, it just looks a bit like you know, yeah. But when you actually see it like moving, it makes it makes all the difference in the world, doesn't it? Except for that whistle. That whistle is absolutely terrible i mean i wish i wish they'd like made new sound effects for it or maybe make a new model of it like you know just like give it a bit more detail and, and stuff because like bossman games they do some incredible detail when it comes to uh steam locomotives like the, like the black fire or the merchant navy or the west country like if bossman games made a flying scotsman it'd be my best loco ever in uh in train simulator yeah, Bossman Games, if you're watching this, uh, make uh, a Flying Scotsman. Uh, I want to see how amazingly detailed um, it would be. So how fast are we going now? 73.6, no, 0.7 miles per hour. We can ease off on the uh, 
reverse her just a little bit because we are losing just a little bit of PSI, but we're doing 74. We're nearly doing 75 miles per hour, which is the limited uh, speed that Scotsman is allowed to go on the main line. But for those of you out there who don't really know how to reskin uh, a flying Scotsman into the BR Green, and I guess this is the uh, this is the DLC for you, because uh, if, if those of you who can't reskin an L LNER flying Scotsman into a uh, BR Green Flying Scotsman. I guess this this is the DLC for you. The, the fact that um, and plus you know uh, the the fr actual front number. You know like, again that's that's a 3D model and it's like a big plaque and stuff on the front. That is uh, that is like the, the 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 good thing about this this DLC is that Duff does manage to do that. Okay, we're doing 76.3 miles per hour, which means we're doing one mile per hour that we are really allowed to go. But the speed limit is 100, so you know. Shh. Ooh, ooh. I don't know if we can actually try and get to 100 miles per hour today. But, you know, we'll, 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 we'll have a good go at it, I think. I mean, it, it, this, is, this is quite a nice model. Um, I, just, I just don't really like the sound effects for it. I mean, if those of you have different opinions, you're more than welcome to, like... If you guys have any any opinions of what you think of this uh, particular DLC, then leave your answer in the comment section down below. If you guys want to buy this DLC as well, I'll leave a link uh, to the Steam website in the description below so you guys can buy this on Steam. Um... And also, if you want this route, which is the East Coast Main Line, I'll leave a link to that in the description below this video. So, uh, leaving a lot of links today in this video, aren't I? <laughs> oh, look, we're doing 77.5 miles per hour. Hmm. If I'm lucky, we could actually try and get this up to 80 miles per hour. It's a possibility. Like, you know, I'm... I, I believe. I, we must believe, guys. It's that time of year when we must believe and have faith. We've been going through a lot of tunnels lately. It is so dark. I don't like being in the dark. I, I I, do have a little bit of fear in the dark. Although I think my biggest fear is arachnids. For the young viewers who don't know what arachnids are, arachnid is spiders because insects are like ants and bees, but arachnids is spiders. Just thought I'd let you know. People say I don't give out much facts on this channel. Well, there you go. Arachnid is spiders. But getting back to Flying Scotsman, I mean, obviously she was built in 1923, uh, designer by Sir Nigel Gresley, who was a genius. And in fact, next year, Flying Scotsman is going to be 100 years old. 100 years old, guys. That is that is incredible. And I tell you what's incredible as well. Concorde, the fastest plane of its time, uh, no longer flies. The RMS Queen Mary, the fastest ship in its time, now a floating hotel. But Flying Scotsman, fastest steam train in its time, and probably the oldest out of the three, and she is still running. So the fastest plane of its time, no longer flying. The fastest ship of its time, no longer sailing. The fastest train of its time, still running. Flying Scotsman, the oldest out of the three, and it's still on the move. Beautiful. Absolutely remarkable. Oh, look, we're doing 79 miles per hour. We're one mile per hour away from hitting 80 miles per hour. We're so close. Um, oh, no. No. No, we're slowing down. No. And those of you have got to remember, Flying Scotsman, when it was first built, this was like the cutting edge of technology. Like, like this is when, like, mankind has discovered the, like, the elements of like steam power and coal power and stuff like flying scotsman was like a bugatti veyron in, in in that time like that was like the most remarkable piece of man and machine but now these days flying scotsman is just ancient technology but you gotta remember back in those days flying scotsman was the future for them even though steam powered trains were already out of date but still you gotta remember Flying Scotsman is the reason we all love steam engines. She is, like, the queen of steam. But my question is, is this a great DLC? It's not bad. That's my honest opinion. If you guys can't reskin uh, the LNER Flying Scotsman into a BR Flying Scotsman, then in that case, uh, this DLC is for you. But if those of you are not a fan of Flying Scotsman in BR Green, then... I, I wouldn't recommend this uh, DLC because it's basically just the same as the old Flying Scotsman, just with a number on the front and with an A4 tender on the back and just in a different livery, really. So, um, 
that's 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 basically my honest opinion about this uh, this DLC. Like, if I had to rate it with numbers, like zero being the worst and ten being the best, I would have to balance it out. I think I'd give it a 5.5. It's not terrible, but like, you know, I think Dovetail Games could have made maybe a, like a newer model of Flying Scotsman and Train Simulator. That that that's all I'm gonna say. It would be nice to have like a a more detailed and a more up-to-date version of Flying Scotsman. And it's just, it's the sound effects as well. Like, they, they they just sound dull. Wow, I'm actually giving a lot of criticism in this video today. What is wrong with me? But there you have it. The uh, BR Green Flying Scotsman uh, on the East Coast mainline. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, make sure you click that subscribe button. Uh, follow me on Twitter, and Instagram, and Twitch. All the links are in the description. Lots of links, I know. Uh, subscribe to my second YouTube channel. Link to that is in the description below. I need to stop giving out links. But thank you again so much for watching, my friends. Have a good day, and I will see you guys again next time. Bye for now, everyone. Bye.